students often ask me what's in my coat pocket and an interesting thing that happens is students in their first and second years buy their ophthalmoscopes, hammers, tuning forks and when they arrive on the wards they find that very few people carry all that stuff and the whole currency tends to revolve around the computer. In fact, we've coined a term for that. We call it the eye patient, you know, like your iPod and your iPhone. The eye patient is getting lovely care. The real patient often wonders, where is everyone? When are they coming to see me? Uh, the Sanford 25 is very much about correcting that disconnect. I want to show you or share with you what I carry in my coat pocket. I think I've already mentioned that I'm a great fan of the uh, Queen Square knee hammer. Uh, the story behind this is that uh, a nurse, I think in Queen Square Hospital, using a pessary, uh, constructed one of these and began to sell them, and they caught on. This one is very important to me because it was given to me by my professor about 40-something years ago, or rather by his widow. Uh, she had seen something I'd written about him, and many years later I ran into her in London, or we arranged to meet in London, and she gave me this. Uh, I would never want to lose that. I also carry, let's see what else is in here. This is a magnifying glass. Comes in handy now and then, not very often, uh, to look at the nail beds and to look more closely at a skin lesion. I carry a stethoscope and uh, I just want to point out to you that the most important part of the stethoscope is not the bell or the diaphragm or the other diaphragm or the tubing or the earpieces. The most important part of the stethoscope is the part between the earpieces, okay? I also have in here a tuning fork. This is a 128 frequency tuning fork and I find this very useful as a quick screen for neuropathy. Uh, if I'm going to test one sensory modality in a patient who I think has neuropathy, uh, doing this and going from their toe to their medial malleolus to their patella to their anterior superior iliac spine is a wonderful quick screen to see if they have a significant neuropathy. What I also have in here are drops for dilating the eye. I carry an ophthalmoscope, but I want to share with you a new kind of ophthalmoscope that we are giving to our residents. Uh, this is an optice instrument. As you can see, it looks very different from the old-fashioned ophthalmoscope, even though mine is quite handy. The optice is unique in that it, um, it has no lens system. It just has a source of light and an opening through which you can look and you'll be surprised how very often it's more than adequate to get a great glimpse of the, uh, of the fundus of the vessels and then when you're done it tucks away neatly like this and uh, when you think of how many diseases we see every day are related to disease of the vessels diabetes and ischemia and so on uh, it's a wonderful gift to be able to look into the eye and get a snapshot of how the patient's vessels look I have a flashlight, I have my glasses of course, I have various pens to make marks on patients when I'm teaching. Tongue depressor comes in handy both to look at the tongue and also if you break it just so, you can make it as a lever to demonstrate the PMI or you can use it to test sharp versus dull. A ruler is helpful and I think that's about all that I'm carrying in my coat pocket. I realize that white coats have become somewhat uh, suspect, they might be carrying bacteria and so on, but I think it's a nice way to, to carry all the stuff you need if you're going to do a good job of examining the patient. The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.